Wow, life has been hectic this week. This is a little bit of a different video, but I have an awesome story that I want to share with you guys. But first, it's an Aussie tradition to crack a beer before telling a good story. So let's get that. All right, cheers guys. Now this isn't actually the story, but I thought I'd add on Sunday, I got to have another awesome animal rescue, something a little bit different this time. There was a wallaby that was drowning in the water. So I got to paddle out on my stand up paddle board and rescue the poor little fella from drowning. A legend. I carried him across the road, released him into nearby bushland. He bit and scratched the crap out of my arm. But I got a tetanus shot because we do die of tetanus in Australia. People do die. So I've got the shot. I'm all sweet, guys. But he was released. Thankfully, some bystanders got some footage because you can't always have your GoPro on you for these rescues, right? However, I'm so glad I had my GoPro on me the very next day because I was about to have a once in a lifetime experience. Let me set the scene for you guys. A car and trailer has just submerged down at the local boat ramp. Cops are here. I happen to drive past and I got a mask and snorkel in my car, so I'm gonna attach the tow winches to the car, help them pull it out, and I'm gonna GoPro, so I might film it. See if they let me post it. How's your bloody Monday morning? Whereabouts is it? So I was cruising down to my local boat ramp just to check the weather for the next couple days and I noticed the big police rib, couple police cars and a tow truck sitting at the edge of the ramp. Uh, so I instantly thought that, you know, the worst had happened. I cruised around and because it was such a good day, it was completely glassy, I could actually see the white shine of a car bonnet underneath the water at the edge of the boat ramp. Believe it or not, I had a GoPro, a mask, some dive gear in my car, so I pulled up basically walked straight over to the police and asked if they needed a hand. And I couldn't actually believe it, but they were super keen for me to help out because I think it was gonna be a big lengthy process, uh, maybe really expensive, who knows, to get the proper police dive team to come and help out when the car's only a couple meters off the ramp. So yeah, I basically strolled over, asked if I could help out, they said yeah. So I put my gear on and I decided to swim out and just have a look at what I was working with. Trailer goes that way. It's pretty uh, deep in mud, like up to the, the bottom of the car. This is the end of the trailer and it's still up on the ramp. So the car is kind of just off, which could be hard getting it up the lip. So the car was a pretty new N80 dual cab Hilux, kind of like my last car, but it was a tray back. Really nice vehicle and obviously it was a complete write off. However, trailers are designed to go underwater. So the owner wanted to recover that without any damage uh, so he could get his boat back on it. So I sort of suggested that I'd be able to unhook the trailer from the car underwater. So the plan was to go back in and winch the trailer out first so he could put his boat back on and then focus on pulling the car out next. And that's exactly what we did. So I jumped back in to unhook the lights, the chain and that. And then I brought the winch in to hook up the trailer, popped it off the car and we dragged it out.
You'll just have to point to where it is because it's so dirty I'll, once I start swimming out. So the trailer came out successfully, it was super light so that was an easy pull and now it was time to get the heavy duty winch, hook it up to the car and pull this thing out. The water was getting really dirty and all stirred up from that big police boat. So I was battling the bad vids as well as the tide was actually coming up so the car was getting a little bit deeper as time went on. The tow truck guy was saying, I can't remember the exact stats but, but a car gains so much weight when it's full of water and it's in park or whatever and you're dragging it out of the ocean so there was a lot of pressure on this winch but I went down luckily the owner has some good bar work on the rear of the car which was facing the ramp so I found a good connection to tie up to the back rear bar uh, to pull it out ass first <sighs> can't see it yet. winch actually snapped and the car went back in so I had to get a heavier duty winch swim that out which was actually really difficult with no fins it looked like a sunny day but I was freezing cold but I pretty much attached that winch to the break off point of the previous rope and hope for the best and thankfully that came out slow but successfully and we got the car up onto dry land Yeah, so basically after a few hours, we recovered the trailer and the car successfully, got it out of the ocean. And to my surprise, the owner was actually in pretty good spirits. That was awesome. I wish him the best. I'm pretty sure he's got insurance. So hopefully it all goes well for him. And I just want to say guys, be safe out there. There's so many things that can go wrong when you're boating and four wheel driving, camping, all that kind of stuff. So just be really careful. Think twice before you do things. So I, hopefully I never have to see that again in my life, but it was pretty awesome to be able to help out that guy and the police and be able to pull that out. So big respect to everyone who was involved in that. And I'll see you next time out there. If you want to get stubbies, shorehawk.co.